Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, today we are going to study the different constituents and the compositions in cement. Cement is not just a grey powder, it is made up of many different things. So we are going to see those constituents which compose the cement as well as what are the exact roles and how they help in becoming cement good in its properties of setting and hardening. Let us see the different functions of constituents in cement. The first one is lime, CaO. Lime is one of the most important constituents of cement. It is present in the cement in the maximum proportion than all other constituents of it. So let us see what lime does. About two third of cement is due to lime only. It increases the setting time of cement but gives early strength. Lime is one of the most major and important components of cement and can never be stressed less the importance of lime in the cement. Two third of the entire cement is made up of lime and the proportion of lime also decides the quality of the cement. The lime should be in its exact proportion. If lime is greater than what it should be, then the cement can expand very easily and expansion of cement may lead to cracks. And the last thing we expect a cement is to crack. Because if a cement cracks, it leads to cracks in the entire building, entire bridge, entire construction which takes place. So the amount of lime should never be more than it should be. Again, if the lime is lesser than its proportion, then again it's one of the major problems. Because if the lime is lesser than its proportion, then the cement will set very quickly. And if the cement sets very quickly, it hardens very quickly and we cannot work with it. So the lime should be in its exact proportion as needed. That is about two-third of the entire cement proportion. The second one is silica. Silica SiO2, again silica is one of the major components of cement and it also gives good strength to the cement. Let us see how useful silica is. It gives strength to the cement by forming a gel. It also increases the setting of the cement. Now, any cement should have two things. First is gel and second is crystals. Imagine that there are two bricks and a cement paste is pasted in it. To stick both the bricks, we need some gel formations in it. So the gel formation helps in setting of the cement and it helps in sticking of both the bricks. This strength, in the cement is given by silica which helps in the production of gel. The third most important component of cement is alumina, Al2O3. Al2O3 is also again one of the most important components of cement. It acts as a flux in cement. It reduces the strength of the cement and hence it should not be present in excess. Now what exactly alumina does? It acts as a flux. Now what exactly a flux is? A flux is something which added to a substance will combine with the entire impurities of it. So now if I have a cement and I add alumina to it, it will combine with entire impurities of it making the cement less with impurities but if I add in too much of alumina to it it itself will become one of the impurity and therefore alumina in excess proportion is never expected alumina in excess proportion will make the cement more weaker and this is not what is expected out of a cement iron oxide Fe2O3 iron oxide Fe2O3 is the main component which gives the gray color to the cement the gray color of the cement is inherited from iron oxide Fe2O3 but that is not the only thing that iron does it also gives hardness and strength to the cement because iron itself is known for its hardness toughness and strength so the cement also gets some amount of hardness toughness and strength through iron oxides the fifth most important component of the cement and i will also call it as an active component of the cement why will i call it active component because it actively participates in getting into reactions with water and forming the paste of water well this component is gypsum functions of gypsum caso 42 h2o in cement it also itself has dot 2h2o when i talk about 2h2o in the form of dot it is known as water of crystallization this water helps in forming that element into crystals therefore gypsum will be in the form of crystals because of the 2h2o present in it and that 2h2o is nothing but work water of crystallization so now what does gypsum exactly do tricalcium aluminate c3a combines with water very rapidly rapidly with evolution of a large amount of heat. So now I have tricalcium aluminate. Again aluminate is written as A. 
you can also write it as AL. So C3A plus 6H2O forms C3A dot 6H2O. Now this dot 6H2O helps in the production of crystals. Again, as I said, it is very important for a cement to have two things. The first is gel and the second is crystals. Well, it got its gel-like formation with the help of silica present in it. Now it will get its crystals with the help of gypsum present in it. Now what exactly do these crystals do? Let's go back to the example of two bricks and a cement paste in the middle. Now these two bricks are joined with a cement paste in the middle. Now this cement paste has a gel like formations which are present with the help of silica in it and they will help the two bricks to stick. But now imagine these two bricks are stuck with the help of a cement which is not hard at all. If the cement is not hard, these bricks will simply keep on moving in any random directions. For that, the cement in the middle should be hard. And this hard property of the cement is obtained by the crystals which are present in the cement. And these crystals are in, present in the form of gypsum. However, these crystals prevent the hydration reaction of other constitutional compounds forming a barrier over them in order to retard this flash or initial set gypsum is added during pulverization of cement clinkers. So now what happens is now over here I have talked about flash or initial set. Now what do I mean by flash set or initial set? Flash set and initial set are nothing but the cement paste. So after the cement paste is hardened the first thing that we see is the flash set or initial set is added during the pulverization of cement clinkers. So the, when the cement is pulverized, what do you mean by pulverization? It means powdering of the cement into small fine powder. It hap happens in the rollers which are known as clinkers. Over there gypsum is added to it. The added gypsum CaSO4.2H2O retards the dissolution of C3A by forming insoluble calcium sulfoaluminate which does not give quick hydration property. So now this calcium sulfoaluminate will not give a very quick hydration property and that is the reason why the cement will not go under hydration reactions very quickly. Let us see the reactions which take place. Now this number of moles are nothing but the amount of substance which is going to be used in the entire reaction. So the entire reaction can have any amount of substance depending upon how we want the cement to be and depending upon the amount of cement we want it to be. So for example over here I have C3A plus XH2O plus YCaSO4 dot ZH2O. Now this CaSO4 dot H2O is nothing but my gypsum. Can you see this CaSO4 dot 2 H2O? So over here since I have Y CaSO4 depending upon that Y I will have Z H2O to it. All of these combine to form C3A dot Y CaSO4 dot Z H2O. This reaction prevents high concentration of alumina in the cement solution and thereby retarding the early initial set of the cement. It is very important that the alumina will come in small forms and small formats because what aluminum does is alumina just mixes with all the impurities and makes sure that the cement does not have all impurities in all the places. If I put excess of alumina it itself will become an impurity and therefore this reaction is very important. So the fifth component gypsum is one of the most important components though it is not used on a very large scale inside the cement. So in this topic we studied about the different constituents which are present in the cement and the functions of them. Thank you so much for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ikira and subscribe to Ikira.